Black women are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in this country. According to Forbes magazine, they own nearly 2.7 million businesses nationwide now, and the group represents the highest growth rate of any female demographic. 17% of black women are in the process of starting a new business compared to 10% of white women and 15% of white men. Now, across the country, the com community leaders are taking note on this, collaborating with unique voices about seeing dreams through to reality, especially in spaces where opportunities have been limited in the past. Urban One and Chevrolet are hosting a four-city tour called Real Talk Drives Real Change, and one of those stops is right here in Dallas this week. Joining us this afternoon is founder and CEO of Black Girls Code, Kimberly Bryant. She is part of the Dallas Stop, which focuses on black women entrepreneurship. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for being with us. Uh, you're on the East Coast today, right? I am actually in, in the Bay Area, so okay. in California. Other coast, the West Coast. Other uh, but, the best coast. But you're making your way here uh, for, for Wednesday uh, when we can expect you to be at this event. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about the story, the personal story that you bring with you when you come to talk to people. You host workshops all across the country te that teach coding to young black girls. And I'm curious, what inspired you to launch that movement in particular? Well, I founded Black Girls Co. really based on, you know, this, this hunger and interest in technology that I found like right in my own home. My daughter, Kai, was an avid gamer and was really getting interested, you know, about 10 years ago in 2011 in gaming and game design. And I really wanted to create a community that would nurture and support her burgeoning interest in this field. Um, since that time, Kai has gone on and graduated from college with a degree in computer science and now works at Microsoft as a product manager. But we've also, within the organization that I founded, um, seen thousands and thousands of girls come through the organization and really starting to create this vibrant tech pipeline. I've since moved on and started a new venture called Black Innovation Lab that kind of picks off where I left off with Black Girls Code and really focusing on entrepreneurship specifically. And so with Black Innovation Lab, the hope is to do very much so what we're doing right at Paul Quinn in Dallas, is encourage young Black women to get in the field of entrepreneurship and find ways that we can both fund and support their goals and their dreams. Well, let me ask you real quickly how much it uh, affects things when, when, when you show up to something like this and the mentors and your peers look recognizable, they look like you. It's not you walking into another room where you feel like you're the only one. How much does that help? Oh, it helps tremendously. I think it's been said, you know, that you can't be what you can't see. Mm -hmm. And the importance of mentors are, are critical in making sure either in the tech industry or in starting a business that there's someone that has shared experiences and a shared passion for what you're trying to build. That helps you know that if they did it, you can too. And so I think this role that mentors play is really critical when we're trying to get into these industries and when women, girls, people of color have been marginalized in the past. So we've got this Real Talk Drives Real Change tour that is coming here to Dallas this week. Uh, can you talk a little bit about this for people who might be interested and think, you know, well, maybe this applies to me. What is the goal of this event and why is it needed? Well, one of the things that you shared in your, in your opening segment was the large percentage of black women that are really starting businesses. We, we call black women actually the most founded entrepreneurs in the space right now. This tour is important because once we can bring a community together to have a conversation about the challenges, but also the successes, I think that's when change really begins. We are able to plant these seeds and also create opportunities for folks to network and create alliances and partnerships that can help not just one individual, but many um, you know, many hands make light work, if you will, to get this entrepreneurship needle really inclusive of everyone. So I think it's very important that folks come out, share their experiences, network, 
and find alliances, if you will, to help them to support their goals. If you have young black girls or young black women who are watching right now and they think, well, I'm pretty good in STEM subjects, give the pitch here. Why should they give coding a shot? This coming from someone who has helped so many go into this. Well, I often say, like, when we look around us today, tech touches absolutely everything. And now we're at this next stage, if you will, of this next industrial revolution with things like artificial intelligence, machine learning. It looks like we lost Kimberly right there in the middle of it, but uh, she was making the pitch there. Do we have her? Yes. Kimberly, can you hear me? Oh, we don't have her. That's fine. We'll put out the info here at least because uh, she was already starting that pitch. You can hear the rest of it uh, this week. Kimberly Bryant, the founder and CEO of Black Girls Code. Uh, you can hear more from her on uh, black women entrepreneurship at Paul Quinn College in Dallas on Wednesday. The event starts at 3.30 p.m. Tickets are available now at newsone.com slash rtdrc. Don't miss out on those tickets, so you had to have one of those to get in, so check that out.